Hello friends, welcome to Lok Satta, Yashashvi Bhava. In the last session, we have discussed about the male reproductive system. Today, we will be discussing in details about the female reproductive system. The parts of the female reproductive system are vagina, uterus, oviducts, ovaries. Vagina. Vagina is a muscular passage that extends up to the uterus. The vagina is also called as the birth canal. It is an opening for the sperms to enter into the female body. It is also an opening for the menstrual flow. This vagina allows the sperms to enter inside and reach the oviducts. The opening of the uterus is called as the cervix. Uterus is a pear shaped muscular organ which holds the baby for 9 months. Oviducts. Oviducts are the fallopian tubes which carry the eggs that are released from the ovaries. Ovaries are the almond shaped bodies placed to the right and left of the uterus. These ovaries secrete the hormone progesterone and estrogen which bring about changes in female during puberty. The ovaries also release an egg every month. If this egg that is released from the ovaries does not get fertilized, then this unfertilized egg along with the blood and mucus form a flow. This flow is released from the vagina which is called as the menstrual flow or the menstru menstrual cycle. This lasts for 3 to 4 days every month. The egg that is formed by the ovaries is released from the ovaries and which is brought to the uterus by the fallopian tubes. When the sperms enter inside through the vagina and encounter the egg and if fertilization takes place then a zygote is formed. This zygote then divides and redivides to form a ball of cells which is called as the blastocyst. The blastocyst then forms the embryo which grows and develops gradually. It implants itself into the lining of the uterus. This embryo receives its nourishment from the mother through the umbilical cord. On completion of 9 months, the baby is released out from the vagina. The cervical opening slightly broadens and widens and the baby is given out from the vagina. If the zygote that is formed splits up into two parts, it results in the formation of two individuals which grow and develop separately. These individuals formed are called as identical twins because they get formed from one zygote. If the ovary releases two eggs and if these two eggs fuse with two sperms resulting into two individuals then there is a formation of non-identical twins because they are dissimilar. Thus twin formation takes place. Students, I am sure all of you would have heard about the caption a small family is a happy family. Why is it said so? The disadvantages of a large family are neglected health of children, poor health of mother, lack of educational facilities, lack of housing facilities, lack of balanced and nutritious diet and hence a small family is a happy family. Students, another problem associated with human reproduction is the spread of sexually transmitted diseases or sexually transmitted infections. Some of these diseases are syphilis, gonorrhea, donovanosis, etc. 
these diseases are caused due to unprotected sex or by having sex with multiple partners. Contraception is the method of avoiding pregnancy. Contraceptive methods in males and females are different. In females, administration of contraceptive pills is done with medical advice. Also, insertion of uterine devices such as copperty is done by skilled doctors and surgeons. Tubectomy is a surgical operation performed in females wherein the fallopian tubes or the oviducts are sealed. In males, condoms are used which are external devices. A surgical operation which is called as vasectomy is done with the help of doctors in males wherein the vast difference is seed. Thus to conclude, we have studied methods of asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction, parts of the male reproductive system, female reproductive system, formation of twins, fertilization, menstrual cycle in females and the family planning methods.